Hello everyone. Happy day of the night, y'all. Day of the night. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Happy day of the week, y'all. We are playing Saint Maker today. That's a horror visual novel uh, voted by from the community on Discord, so let's just see what's up. Let's head straight in. Oh, well, that's bloody. Already. Somewhere in the forest is a stream. Maybe a flower bed and a grove full of old trees, like the ones in storybooks. Fairies darting in and out of knot holes. Mm, I feel like the SFX are a bit loud still. I already uh, reduced the sound of it, but you know. That didn't change anything, did it? The hell? Does this not kind of sound effect? Hold on. Okay, that's background music then. Okay. Fine. Focus, Holly. Yeah, focus up. Get your head out of the clouds. I'm not here for that. Somehow this... I'm, I might be imagining things, but uh, the, the voice seems very familiar already. This isn't some storybook. Fairies? They aren't real. Of course they are. What the hell? It's like what Mom always said. There are only angels and demons. Okay. Oh, joy. Ooh. So, this is the place. Huh? Doors open? Hello? Excuse me, is anyone here? This is a very loud door. Maybe the whole thing got cancelled? That would be nice. I will have the whole place to myself. Ha! All the mysterious adventures I could get into. Alone in an abandoned convent. No parents. No adults. Just me. Is that... Oh, that must be them. Well, so much for that fantasy. It is coming from further in. I can't help but notice that all the statues are uh, covered, so that's gonna be interesting later. Oh. I probably should not disturb them. I bet that some nuns spent their entire life singing prayers. Prayers for God. Prayers for the world. For the sinners. Though, sounds like it'd get boring after a while. I'm not sure if those are actual people, are they? It does. A little bit. <laughs> but, well, I guess it's for not... a good cause. Our order's sacred mission and all that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hi. You look like one of those women that are in the mobile games advertisements. No? Am I the only one? Maybe. Shush. Lower your voice. It's ill manners to disturb prayer. Would you not shush me, please? Oh, sorry. Where the hell did she come from? Okay, just chill out, Holly. It's just a nun. <laughs> Baby's last words, okay. <laughs> Is everything alright? You were talking to yourself. Huh? Was I? I didn't notice. <laughs> it's alright. I do that too. 
This place has a very special air to it. It's hard not to get caught up in my own thoughts sometimes. Okay, let me lower it still a wee bit. Um, yeah. I gotta say, this place, it's bigger than I expected. Oh, yes. I used to get lost all the time. I still do, to be honest. <laughs> And here I am, chattering away again. How can I help you? I'm here for the recollection? Oh, yes, yes, of course! Oh, you're looking for our dearest and most admirable Mother Superior. Down the hallway, third room to the left. Probably in the middle of one of her stunning lectures. Okay. I see. Uh, thank you very much, and, um... Sorry again for disturbing you. Oh, please. I'm here to help. By all means, feel free to disturb me anytime. <laughs> no, I'm not going there. Uh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> They're getting younger every year. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's always good to start early. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your stay here. You know, at this point, I would probably want to go home. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, Th thank you. Hmm. That was weird. I am 15. I'm not that young. Maybe it was stu that stupid little scream I made. Nice job, Polly. Looking real composed back there. Is this the place? Huh? Whoa, looks like someone's been trying to put it back together, piece by piece. Must have taken a lot of work. Though, still doesn't look right. Careful, plaster's still fresh on that one. Just one touch can bend the whole thing out of shape. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, hi. Our most venerable founder was particularly fond of this one. Saint Rita of Cassia. Are you familiar? I have no idea. Uh, little disclaimer here, I am not uh, aware of anything with names or religion or whatever. So, it would be... Uh, a little wonder in itself for me to recognize any names if they are in any way related to anything religious. <laughs> Born 1381, died 4057. Thank you. Great. Patron saint of lost and impossible causes. Um, yes, a bit. At the age of 12, she married into an abusive family. Regrettably, her two sons grew up to take after their father. Violent, vengeful. And so she prayed to God to save their souls. And so God answered. They died of disease soon after. A harsh lesson, but an important one to take to heart. God works in mysterious ways. Even death can sometimes be a mercy. I... I see... But enough of that. You've yet to introduce yourself. So are uh, you, you know? Uh, oh, hello there. I'm Holly Beltron. Hello there. Oh, yes, Miss Holly. I've been expecting you, though I don't recall receiving you. What? Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I knocked, but no one came. And so you chose to trespass instead? No, oh, wonderful. What? No, I didn't mean to. I was just... Give whatever name you want to your sin, Miss Holly. It is still a sin, nonetheless. Oh, God. Could I punch her? <laughs> your bags. Kindly lay them down. My bags? Oh, you'd be surprised the things that we find. Cigarettes. Contraceptives. Pornography. 
Can you imagine bringing such things into the house of God? Astounding. Yeah, totally astounding. That's horrible. Oh, yeah. Totally horrible. Nobody ever should do that. I should have covered it. I at least kept it in a hidden pocket. Not that my bag has any. Hmm, well, what do we have here? I knew it. Why'd I even bring that stupid thing? Kylie Taylor, the sorceress of Witchwood. Oh my god. Uh, that's just something I'm reading. Oh, yes, well, it is always good to read. Uh -huh. I myself simply love books. Books can enrich. They can teach. Just wait one second, because there's going to be a big but. And it's not a good but. It's a bad but. But, when observing go. a work, <laughs> never forget to take spirituality into account. Especially when it comes to material written for young, impressionable minds. Oh, I want to punch her. So bad. And there it was, cradled just beneath the canopy of elder trees, candlelight pouring from the notched windows, and the sound of laughter echoing from within. This was her new home. It was here that she would learn magic. Magic. Such an innocent-sounding word. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm... Getting really aggressive right now. <laughs> but, dear mm. child, there are no greys when it comes to witchcraft. Mm. All of it, black as sin. I, I don't know what I thought I was getting into with this game, but, you know. A proper child of God would know this. Yeah, a, a proper child of God. Like, hmm? It's... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ugh. Pushing all the buttons. Alright, calm down. You can do this. You have always been good at this. Okay. Oh, first of all. Tell her what she wants to hear. We're not playing dumb. We're gonna tell her what she wants to hear. You're absolutely right. Hmm? I noticed something was off as soon as I started reading it. <laughs> oh, God. And still you kept it. Stubbornness on my part. I spent a good chunk of my allowance on it, so I was hoping I could return it. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. But even so, I really should be more mindful when it comes to these things. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> she does buy it. I realize I'm not making a very good first impression. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I guess I've been so excited that I've just been all over the place lately. Moving forward, I'll try my best to improve. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, improvement. There you go. That is one thing that we, the sisters of Saint Idolora, hold very dear. Uh-huh. For Saint Rita's children, death was their only salvation. But for those willing to fix themselves, well, you'll find that this convent is the perfect place for spiritual rebirth. Uh-huh. Here, you can be anyone you want to be. It is very windy in here. Your hair are very distracting. Anyone I want to be. Y yes I understand. That... that sounds great. I'd like that. Well, mm. now that we've settled that, let's start things off the right way. Do you want me to go out the door and knock again, or...? I am Sister Adira, and I will be in charge of your spiritual formation for the next few weeks. Few weeks? Is this like a... oh no. It's very nice to meet you, Sister Adira. There. That wasn't so hard now, was it? This playthrough will take a lot for me, I feel like. And as for your book, I think it's best that I keep it. Oh, you're a fan, huh? But...
Just let it go. We got we we gotta be we gonna be um doing what they say in the first few minutes at least. Yeah. There's no use arguing. Better just let the whole thing go. It's it will be even better if we're gonna be the super sass, Holly, okay? So just bear with me within the first hours. We get our sass moments, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's nothing, never mind. Hmm. Miss Holly, I take it you're an avid reader? Yes, ma'am. Then that also means you enjoy writing, yes? Oh yeah, obviously. I I write all the time. I'm I'm somewhat a little uh, a big author myself, you know. Oh my god. Yes. I, 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 I guess. I'm not sure if one would include the other necessarily. Like you can enjoy reading without, you know, being slapped the writer mark on, you know? Not that it would be a bad thing, but you know what I mean. It's so, it's so fucking presumptuous, I don't know. Whatever. At least I didn't bring any of my fanfics. I mean, she is 15, so... That would have been very interesting for uh, Adira to read. She'd have a field day with those. Oh, wait here for just a moment. This should suit you just fine. Prayer journal for teens. Pray with style. There's prayers at the end of every page. A journal. Time has a funny way of muddling memory. Oh, yeah. Take me, for example. I don't have any memory of anything. It helps to have an anchor. That way we can always look back and see the old with new, fresh eyes. This next week will be integral to your spiritual formation. It would be best to keep a record of your thoughts. Oh, I have thoughts, all right. As we've discussed, not all stories are worth reading. But if you keep your heart open, there's definitely a story for you here. Okay, so we have to keep our heart open, but she doesn't give a shit about anything that we are interested in. Hmm... A story of your own personal journey with God. We have to be open-minded, but, it, you know, they know better. They have the perfect way for a young child to... You know what? Can I trust you to do that? Yeah, totally. Yes, ma'am. And thank you. I'm not going off at all. <laughs> Sister Adira. Please call me Sister Adira. For our time together... I'd like to think of us as family. Yeah, but more like you're like more the weird aunt. Family. Like I needed more of that. Now, come this way. I'll show you to your room. Yes, ma'am. A uh, uh, sister, Adira. <laughs> Kylie Taylor and the Sorceress of Witchwood. Notes all over the margins. Letter on the first page. Pink ink. Strawberry scent. Limited edition cover. Signed. And I'm never seeing it again. God damn it. <sighs> it's fine, Holly. Relax. This is for the best. You're not here for that. You're here to be better. Oh, Gabriella, this is Holly. She will also be joining us for the recollection. Hey there. Just call me Gabby. Okay, Gabby. Gabriella is your God-given name. It's a name you were born with. And I happen to think it's quite lovely. Be proud of it. Abbreviations tend to only confuse... I... No. No. Right. No nicknames allowed. That's news to me. And I hope it's news you take to heart. We do, after all, have rules here, Miss Gabriella. 
Okay, so she's the sassy one then, huh? Yeah. Sure. It's like, whatever. Oh my god, Smacker. I, I, I've been doing this for 20 minutes now. And I've been punch trying to punch her so often, Jules. And it's gonna get only worse. <laughs> so welcome, man. Oh boy. Well, we're off to a good start. Tell her that Gabriella is a pretty cool name. Let them know how excited you are to be here. It's a pretty cool name. Let's go with that one. Hello there. Pleased to meet you. My name's Holly. And for the record, I think Gabriella is a pretty cool name. Gabriella disapproves. Had a classmate named Gabriella. Really smart. Ran for the student council. Though now that I think about it, she might have lost. It was close, though. Good to know. <laughs> so, um, are we the first ones to arrive? To think that I was worried I might have been late. Yep, she's a bubble, a bubble, a babble head, yeah. A bubble head, yeah. A babble head. Bubble head? Babble head. Bubble head. She's talking a lot, damn it. I mean, um, for the record, she's 15, so, you know, you know how 15-year-olds are trying to impress in the first, and then blah, 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 you know. As of now, Miss Holly, we are complete. The recollection will start first thing in... What do you mean, complete? We are two people here. Wait, seriously? There's only two of us. I wasn't like that when I was 15. I mean, yeah, okay, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Yes. Sadly, as of late, attendance has been quite low. She's writing fanfic, though. So that's good. I guess. Can't imagine why. But look at that smug face. Look at her. Really smug. There she goes again. Is she for real? Like, real subtle girl. Oh, I think you know the answer, Gabriella. Distractions. So many distractions we're letting into our lives. And even in these trying times, we still take for granted God's loving grace. You two, however, are very fortunate that your parents were responsible enough to take an active role in your formation. Oh yes, yeah, super fortunate. Love that. Yeah, sure. Um, that's true, Miss the Sister Adira. I believe these few weeks will be an enlightening experience for all of us. This reminds me of a long-ass main quest in K uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, where I had to sign up as a monk. Gosh, I wanted to kill them. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like this is going to be a lot of this playthrough. <laughs> Excuse me, a lot of this playthrough too. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, child. Recollections like these are a very special opportunity. And I hope that both of you will be wise enough to seize it. Yeah, I'm already feeling God's almighty wisdom. <laughs> Jesus, say that a bit louder, why don't you? I will give you the rest of the day to settle in. We shall start first thing tomorrow. But until then, I urge you both to take in the silence this place has to offer. Reflect. Pray. Uh, she sure is something. But maybe we just got off on the wrong foot? Like it or not, we are roommates now. I should probably say something to her. Though, doesn't look like we have much in common. What's up? You're staring. Oh, sorry. I... I was just wondering. Okay, Holly, here goes. Just play it cool. Hmm, she's got cute bracelets. Talk about that. Maybe try asking her about the place. Uh, let's talk about her. Let's show interest. <laughs> so, um, those are some cute bracelets you got there. Look. Let's just cut to the chase. What are you here for, exactly? 
Whoa, hold up there. Why is this sounding like prison talk? I excuse me? What do you mean? This isn't exactly a prime summer destination. Dingy convent up in the mountains, prayer sessions every other hour, Bible readings, character building lectures. Pretty sure they'll even have us do chores and stuff. Obviously. You don't really go here unless, you know, you're one of those types. Oh, I see. Well, I might not look uh, like it here, but I needed this. Time away from home, away from my parents. They worry. I mean, of course they worry. After everything that happened. I mean, true, it's not exactly my idea of fun. But once this is all done, I can come back to my mom with a big smile on my face. Tell her that I'm better. Tell her that everything's okay. Hmm, okay, okay. I go back to being the perfect little angel she expects me to be. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, hello? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, I... Never mind, it's fine. You don't have to answer. Probably going to be the exact po positive, uh, opposite, yeah. No, no. You see, um... It's not something I want to talk about. I should probably say that. But does that come off as rude? And so many questions. Uh, tell her the truth, whatever. No, that's stupid. Where would I even begin? I should just make something up. Wait, that's not... I just... I just said you should say, say the, the truth. Why are you making up or whatever? I see. Well, in that case, I don't think we have much to talk about. Well, why even give me the choice if you're not doing what I tell you to do? Wait, what? Let me spell it out for you. Oh, boy. I don't want to be here. And if you're thinking that by the end of this, we'll be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys and, I don't know, having Bible study sessions together or whatever, <sighs> you're mistaken. Oh. All right. Glad we got that out of the way. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got stuff to unpack. The hell is her deal? I'm just trying to make things work. Well, I guess this is my bed for the next few days. I should start unpacking too. Not the nicest looking place. But maybe I can fix it up a bit. Oh, this is gonna backfire. There we go. Looking better already. A little corner to call my own. Been a while since I've shared a room with someone. It's been, been even longer since I've slept in a room that wasn't my own. Nope, we have no idea what happened to this kid. At all. It all feels so familiar. Oh, we just arrived at the place, we encountered Sister Adira, and that's about it. Like, you, you didn't miss anything, really. Maybe a bit too familiar. Oh. Yeah, I think that is better for now. What else do I have here? A story of my own, huh? Hopes and wishes, huh? To my dearest heavenly father, thank you for, okay. I really wish I had my book. Okay, rub it in my nose, it's fine. Jesus. Would be nice, getting lost in the pages. The turn of a spell key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That is all it takes to get into the mysterious world of Witchwood. Save. Uh, this is a prayer journal, Holly. That's right. This won't do at all. We're supposed to be talking to God. Oh, Holly. <sighs> to my dearest heavenly father. Well, here I am. 
I wonder what we'll be up to tomorrow. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure he'll be with me every step of the way. We started off a bit rough, but I'm optimistic for the wonderful journey ahead. Amen. Looks like this girl needs that therapy in this center. Yep. That's what I think too, actually. Good night. That's what I actually think too. Hey, achievement unlocked your new home. Settle into your new home. Excuse me? Psst. Hey, Holly. Are we dreaming? We, we must be dreaming. Huh? Liana? What are you doing? Uh, I... I can't sleep. That's not my problem. Huh, I can fix that. Behold my special move! Huh? Whoa! Liana! <sighs> okay, okay, I'm up. Haha! <laughs> Mission accomplished. What a nerd. Yana. What, what's with this phase? Come on. Huh? What's that you got there? Just a book. Want to see it? Oh, wow. I don't remember mom buying this. She didn't. No, he lent it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, damn. So we actually gave away the book that our sister lent us that was being lent already well shit see her name's kylie she's strong and brave just like someone else i know huh you really think so nah just trying to get on your good side <laughs> right oh oh but here's the coolest part she's She's a witch! Uh, what? Liana, you know how mom gets. Remember what happened when you brought home that toy devil -y? Dragon! It was a dragon! It's not my fault mom wasn't listening! Uh, yeah. A funny, a funny, funny, funny thing that happened to me in my family too. Like, not, not with a dragon or whatever, but, oh man. Oh, that was a discussion and a half, let me tell you. And she's still not going to listen if she finds something like this. Hmm. I, I, I think I'm, I think I know too, yeah. Look, Liana, you need to stop getting yourself in trouble. The question is how far does it get, you know? Don't worry so much. I'll just hide it in a place she'll never find. But... <sighs> just give it back as soon as you can. Well, about that... You see, I was, um, thinking maybe we could read it together, just like how we used to. Really? Y yeah, but if you don't want to... No, it's... Okay, sure, we can read it, but only because the cover looks cool. Come on over here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hmm, the whispering forest. The sky was a muddy brown. As brown and muddy as the grounds around St. Mary's Orphanage. Despite this, Kylie was determined to give her little sister Farley the best birthday ever. Oh, Kylie has a sister? I is that her picture? Uh, I like her! She's mine. I'm doing her voice. <laughs> That's so fucking sweet. I hate it. You don't even <clears throat> know her yet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got this feeling. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Mom, Holly, hide the book. Shh, quiet. Just stay still. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> K 
can't move. Oh no. I cannot move. It's okay. This is fine. I'm just stuck in between sleeping and waking up. Just breathe, Holly. Breathe. That sound. Relax. It's just singing. Just prayers. Sounds kinda nice, right? Like a lullaby. Just close your eyes and go to back go back to sleep, Holly. Yeah, I know, Jules. I know. Just relax. You're just hearing things. Oh boy. Well, that was the first night. There it is. The first rays of morning light. Breathe deep. Take it in. Another day. Another brilliant gift from God. Another opportunity to serve. Hmm. I'm quite pleased with it, though it still wouldn't be enough for her. Cracks still need to be filled. Blemishes need to be sanded. And of course, a new coat of paint. But for now, well, there are more important matters. I must not be distracted. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father, you visited me in your, your dreams last night. Don't worry, I remember. In my hands you put a chisel, in the other, the Holy Bible. Their use, perfectly clear. Once again, we now host young and impressionable guests on the sacred grounds. It has been a while. I'm a bit nervous. I only ask that you give me the strength. The strength to be a worthy mentor in the coming days. May your teachings guide my words that I may impart wisdom. And may your hands guide me as I form these young girls to be the women you want them to be. Amen. Uh, let me punch her, please. <laughs> Yeah. This is going to be a playthrough. I said it before, but then. <laughs> Let's get ready. We've got a busy day ahead of us, after all. Yeah, same, Jules. Same. Liana? Huh? Who? Oh, um, sorry. It's nothing. We've got 30 minutes. Let's get ready. Wouldn't want to be late now, would we? Yeah, sure. No white walls. No flower curtains. No mom. No Liana. You are not home. Get a grip, Holly. New place, new day, new you. You've got this. Remember, no distractions. Lovely morning, Sister Adira. Hmm. Why, yes. A lovely morning indeed. If you were here just a bit earlier, you would have caught the sun shining right through that window. Amazing. The little things you notice when you take the time to stop and listen. Mm hmm And that's why we're here, isn't it? <sighs> yep, sure is. <laughs> <clears throat> Fifty years ago, our founder, Saint Idolora, built this convent in order to train young girls such as yourselves to be proper ladies. Ladies worthy of becoming saints. Oh, thanks, Jules. I appreciate it. During her time, the most beautiful flowers bloomed all over the convent. Oh, and the statues. 
With her skilled hands, in the right light, they'd look so real. Then, of course, the girls, like scared little lambs, they arrived, sick and broken. I'm sure they were. But Mother Idolora, oh, she healed them. She fixed them. They all emerged as lovely little angels. Lovely little angels. Mom would call us that all the time. In front of her friends. In the coming days, I'd like you to think of me as a mother. I thought you were a sister. <laughs> Mm. Whether it be concern or confession, you may come to me. Yeah, exactly that. Yep, exactly that, Jules. Yeah, I'll consider it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sister. That's a very kind gesture. Now, before we start, here's a quick schedule of the recollection. Okay, let's see what happens here. St. Dolores Convent, Recollections and Youth Formation. Woman's recollection schedule. Open remarks led by Adira. Facing sin, moving past our shortcomings. Rosary and prayer. Finding Mary amidst the chaos of current times. Defining women embracing the natural role of Wicca. <clears throat> Confession. Covering the cracks, the road to saintly perfection. Oh my fucking lord. Oh. Ooh. Mm. I think this is taking more toll on me than Borderlands 2. <laughs> it's all just her. Oh. Yes? Any questions? Why did I choose this again? I thought it was like some religious horror. I mean, the horror part probably comes in, hopefully, later. <laughs> Like, so far, it's only pissing me off, yeah, but, you know. It's it's still the first hour, so be good. Man, this all looks really exciting. It is. Most of your time will consist of silent recollection and prayer sessions. But, as I've said before, aside from reflection, we shall also task you with action. Yeah, same, Jules. Same. What type of action are we talking about? I don't know why this is so stupid to grasp for people like this. It's so hard for them to grasp that they're doing that, what they don't want the children to do, you know? In a, in a more abusive way, obviously. They're like forcing their ideals on the children, traumatizing them. And uh, then they are like wondering why they are leashing out, you know? Why they are like, no, that's not me. Stop putting me in that fucking... You know. Anyhow. Like a hammer to glass. Ooh. Simple tasks. Cooking, cleaning. This convent doesn't maintain itself, you know. And I expect you to attend to it with the utmost care. This is a holy place, after all. Newly inducted nuns have done similar things in the past. If any of you find yourself hearing the call... Well, think of this as a great training opportunity. Mm -hmm. No promises. You could have just nodded your head. I expect none. But you may be surprised. The call finds us at the strangest of times. In the strangest of places. Now, to start off, let's have a bit of an exercise now, shall we? I'd like to show you something. How you jump out of the window, uh, five... Uh, you know. Oh, I hate that sound. That sound was, uh, it, it went through my whole body. What the? Ah, lovely, isn't she? Wholesome, pure, chaste. The face of a saint if I ever saw one. There's no second guessing, no desperate search for her place in the world. She is content to know that she is exactly where God wants her to be. However, sadly, this is not always the case. Uh -huh. The world is moving so fast these days. People coming up with all sorts of answers to their problems. So many opportunities are now open to bright young women such as yourselves. 
you can be anything. Scientists, lawyers, businesswomen, physicians, even artists. Why even artists? Why 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 make an exception out of our You know she was just counting off, you know, pretty big jobs and then even artists. Like what the is this an issue? And they're all wrapped up so nicely in narratives of fulfillment and prestige. And at times they can sound so appealing. But us women, we should not let ourselves get distracted from what really matters. Okay. God and family. Mm-hmm. Polly, please come over here. Yeah, sure. If she knew how little artists earn, she wouldn't have counted the number of Yeah, yeah. Probably not. <laughs> now, I want you to write down all the things that might be stopping you from being a proper child of God. Maybe people telling me what to do and how to behave? That would be the first thing. Well, this should be easy. Time to put all those Christian life education classes to good use. Talk about original sin, she'd like that. Talk about the temptations of modern society. Uh, yeah, whatever. Well, the way I see it, with all the progress we've made as a society, we failed to take our faith into consideration. As such, we're surrounded by so many distractions that tempt us. Yes, yes. It's quite clear that you've been paying attention, Miss Beltran. But we're here to talk about you. What are the things that hinder you from becoming a child of God? <clears throat> I'm, I'm really trying not to stop after every sentence and be like, fuck that, but I really need to take a lot of breathers in here because this is really, really harsh. Me? Th there's nothing. I'm perfectly fine. All that stuff last year, I'm already over it. Um, well... What's the stuff that mom always complains about? Maybe talk about those. Uh... American celebrities. I mean, those are the worst, obviously. Out of every sin you could ever imagine, American celebrities? The worst, I tell you. I, um... Well, there's American celebrity Miss Beltran. I recall confiscating a particular book from you the other day. Oh, that. Of course she'd bring that up. Well, that stuff... It really isn't a big deal or anything. I'm sure there are other things. Oftentimes, I find it best that we start with the small things. But, if you want, perhaps we can talk about other things. Your family life, perhaps? Okay, let's drop the bomb right away. Let's go. My family life? <laughs> Maybe you should talk about it. <laughs> uh. Or maybe you should talk about it. I mean, whatever. Let's just talk. I... <laughs> so, after almost now of this game, I feel like my choices here don't matter at all. Like, uh, I had a choice, tell her the truth, and she didn't tell the truth. I'm, I'm, I don't know if that still is being played in there, like she's trying and it helps later on or something. But uh, so far it feels like a pain. Sure, you cannot open up to people instantly and, you know, tell their, their deepest secrets. But, you know, if we as a player press tell the truth and i don't know that should be urgent enough to just say okay whatever just drop it you know no we don't talk about that is everything all right holly we don't talk about it yeah i'm fine interesting maybe this is a whole part of the game then the whole okay i'm, I'm not doing what you said me to do because uh you know you cannot force me to do shit. Which is funny because they are trying to force you to do shit. But okay. 
Let's stick to the small things. Hmm. Good. I'd also urge you to examine any other pieces of literature that you might be reading. You're talking about fanfics? There is a special place in hell for people who lure children to sin, and all in the guise of fanciful tales and happy endings. Hell. It's always hell, isn't it? I just want to read my stories. Jeez. Chill out. It's just a book. <gasps> just a book? So is the Bible. And yet, such a book has built cathedrals, formed nations, saved souls. In the wrong hands, don't you think the opposite is also possible? This one should never see my AO3 history. <laughs> uh, it's always, always only the sunny sides, huh? Look, I really don't see the problem here. Kylie's a good witch. Kindness and friendship are what end up saving the day. Hello, spoilers. What the fuck? In the end, that's all that matters, right? Just what is she doing? This, this isn't an argument you're going to win. You're simplifying the matter, Gabriella. Oh, and you don't. <laughs> you're not better. Uh, this is such a fucking... Oh my god, I'm so angry. <laughs> Oh, am I angry? Holy these shit. These things, these mm. stories, I know it all must seem harmless at first. It's all just make-believe after all. Brightly colored spells and magical creatures. They make it so easy to get caught up in the... the fantasy. But understand, these are all subtle seductions. They distract. I feel like this is... Is this like... Uh, nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna... And that, at its core, these spells and rituals and familiars, it all leads back to the occult. We've all strayed so far. What can you tell me about voodoo? In the Old Testament, people like Kylie would have been stoned to death. Mm. Miss Rivera, why don't you give this activity a try? Can't think of anything. Is that so? Okay, what is she dropping now? Do you think your life is perfect, Miss Rivera? No, of course not. We're all far from perfect here. But my mind's just drawing blanks right now. Then perhaps I can be of help. More often than not, I find that the biggest obstacle young girls like you often face lies in the environment you place yourself in. Uh-huh. I see. Hmm. Let's reflect on your friends. Have they been a positive influence? Okay, I really enjoy that those are different um, handwritings, by the way. Like, that that's a nice little touch. You could have been lazy and used the same font for that, so... Straight so far from better society, consider the Vikings were all of equality until the Christians got them. And then it was all down to the women and witches, yeah. 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 They have helped me through pretty tough times. Your mother has told me a different story. Really, no. Yes, sneaking out to these social gatherings, coming home late at night, surrounding yourself with the wrong sort of people. Uh, let people make mistakes, okay? Even if the friends are bullshit, like, let them fucking live and not, you know, do shit. I have shit I regret too. I wanna draw this woman in acid, same. I have so much shit happened in my life back then and you know wrong influence whatever but without this experience i wouldn't be the one the person that i am right now and i feel like i'm mostly confident with, with myself sure as far from perfect but i cannot be arsed nah uh -uh. like just let me people make mistakes and still 
if they come home running uh, and whatever, just be there and go, and that's about it, you know? Don't, don't try to force your ideals on people. I hate this so much. It's basically the biggest thing I hate about people. The wall sorted? Please understand. It's not entirely your fault. Oh. I was young once. I know how it's like. We're at a very sensitive age. And it's at this time that young girls are met with a whole new world of temptations. Yeah, whatever. Look, just drop it. It is easy to mistake desire for love. But true love, true love can only occur between a chaste man and a chaste woman. Oh my lord, okay. We're opening this can now. Alright. It's Gabriella. Mm. Running away will only serve to worsen your struggle. <laughs> if you would simply be honest. Uh, could you strangle her, Gabriella, please? Shut up! Yes. Yeah, let's go. Only you can help yourself, Miss Rivera. I am merely a witness. The scars you have are far worse. You can't see them. But they dig deep. Deep at your soul. Miss Beltran, I would like your opinion. Have I done something wrong? Do I upset you? <laughs> Is this Sister Dira speaking to us or the devs? <laughs> Did I upset you? Why me? Oh, great. I should just say something, anything to just stop this. Okay. You don't have to be so pushy. No, that's not going to work. It would just make her mad. Raised voices shouting, then a whole new set of rules to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes? I, I just thought of another thing to write down. TV, it distracts me all the time. My grades aren't as high as they could be, but if I just cut down on my TV time, I know I can focus. Hmm. It takes real courage to improve yourself. And right now, Miss Holly here is being very brave. And I know you can be brave as well, Gabriella. Oh my god. Whatever. I'm done here. Big storm. Miss Beltran, I'd like you to open your prayer book. Page 32, Psalm 103, verse 10. Please say a prayer for Miss Gabriella, that she will allow herself to be healed by God's loving grace. <sighs> Afterwards, you may have a short break. We'll start again once I ring the bell. Yes, sister. Okay, I think this is the perfect time to just take our break for now. Um, we have a lot to unpack and a lot to, um, forget and calm down and oof, I'll see you on 3 to 5.